So uh, everyone, you can see by the name and by the suit that I have right all night, this is the sort of Robin with Assassin's Creed blend, sort of a cosplay combination right going on that I had in my head for a while. I did show it in my all of my cosplays part two review that I was hinting at doing a Robin and Assassin's Creed suit all in one. So I love how it turned out. Maybe around, I'd say, 80 to 90% done with it. Still have to do the weathering on it. Still have to add a few leather buckles and bits here and there. But this is the top half, so let me just show you this. I have the cape right here also, so I have a sort of tiny cape going on here at the back. Not as long as I was planning on doing for the Robin suit all in all. So I actually drew this design out, if I look around for my book. Yep, I have the book right here. I drew this design out for a while and just had it in my head. So if the camera focuses in, this was the initial design that I have drawn. So you can see right here, I didn't have the original three buckles going down the front. I did do the shoulder guard right here, uh, the strap coming down this side, uh, the one piece shoulder guard coming along here longer than one side. So that's right here. And this one only has two. You can see I kept up with the exact same motif and the things that I had going on. I had the green wrap and the sword right here. So I would always say draw out your designs first, guys, before you go cosplaying and maybe maybe making them or designing them. Always draw it out and you will have something to reference off. Go out and also get inspired by other things. What inspired me is the Assassin's Creed and also the new Damian Wayne uh, stuff coming out, including the Teen Titans. Judas Contract animated video, uh, animated movie, so amazing. Damien in that, the way he's grown up, it is just so good. But we'll get into the suit and how I made this. What I did guys, as always, is I cut my front and my back for all of my shirt designs and bases. Cut my arms from a different colored material. You can see here it is a green fabric. These are both polyester. So this one is a maroon or a dark red polyester fabric. This one right here is a green polyester fabric with a sort of texture going on in it. I like it. This is a very crappy camera. Again, I just cut my front and my back, sewn those together. Cut my arm shapes, sewn that to the actual shirt base itself. And I have my nice jacket shape. I showed you previously, I have it right here on the iron fist. I had a zipper coming up the side. And I also decided to do it with this Robin suit because it's easy on and off. Then I actually, so if I move the camera downward I made it really long so you can see right here that it is actually very very long my friend says it is a dress on one side it is actually connected right here but on the other it is actually open and split so that I can have full leg movement and mobility going on within the suit I have the sort of green wrap and the gold chain going along here for the actual belt design itself so this is the bottom half of the suit, two belts like the Assassin's Creed movie suit, sort of knife going on here, the green wrap that I had in the initial design and the drawing itself. Okay, so I might actually shorten this up. This is multiple layers of fabric. You can see one for the initial robe here, then the other is something that I've just glued on to the bottom to give it some multiple layers. A lot of fabric and layer for ninja designs, guys, can really work out if you're working on a Daredevil fan film, a Batman fan film, sort of like I am with Prodigal Sons. The League of Assassins is a really big part of what we're going to do, and I had to look at many different League of Assassin and ninja designs all in all, see what would stand out and what would look different, make ours look that much bit better. And also, this is what I would think maybe Damien would initially wear in the League of Shadows maybe if he returned as Robin because this has the Robin color scheme going on if he maybe wanted to keep his father's values or motif maybe if Batman died one day and the only people he really had was the League to take him in this is sort of what I think he would have going on but again it's an Assassin's Creed mixed with maybe if Damien was in the Brotherhood back in the day this is what he would have wore if he was ever an Assassino Okay guys, so I have the black cape. You can go and watch my how to make a cape video. This is much smaller than what I would initially design. This is just one side of black fabric. And then on the inside right here, I have another side with the same shape of yellow fabric. Those are both sewn together. And then around the back here, you can actually see I have another layer of leather fabric. So this is obviously fake leather that I got from my local art shop. If you go down, hopefully, or your local fabric shop. My local art shop has a nice uh, 
fabric section down the back they sell different trinkets from jewelry all the way down to wooden displayed things and then again they sell little swatches of fabric this is all fake leather that they maybe had left over I bought some black and turned it into a sort of triangle piece so this is just you know a triangle cape that layers on top of the black gives it a really nice look if you're going for an elder scrolls if you're going for a warrior type thing I would always suggest using some leather it will really help build the design up the top half is like my Assassin's Creed so if we just chain it up like that this whole design going on right here this is your shield basing so I may think of doing a Power Ranger a Green Ranger style design like this in my own skinny down version so this is just made from the Peltex you can use cardboard guys or EVA foam has some velcro here so it affixes right onto the center of my chest and holds in place it's the exact same design that I use for the Assassin's Creed so we have just one and two pieces here coming over for the shoulder I have built round here at the top of the shoulders coming all the way around to the back and they again I've just built down in four pieces the shoulder guards right here you can see the top two are taking the same shape and then the bottom two are taking a different shape maybe fix that up do a different design where they all flow in one piece but I love how it looks it has that nice arm curve if you want to build up on top of that guys use cardboard or EVA foam I would suggest maybe using a heat gun if you're using EVA foam the hood is designed exactly like I would make the Spider-Man it always gets my hair kind of crazy like I did the Spider-Man prototype homecoming suit so his starter out suit I show on that process video how to cut a hood if you want to go check that out scale it down maybe make it bigger I also have a three part process video on how to make an Assassin's Creed jacket if that maybe helps the first part is your jacket base second part is how to make your shielding and armor and then the third part is on gauntlets and also maybe what will add to it and also your hood so guys please go check those out if you want to maybe build your own assassin blend with any kind of character Deadpool uh, maybe a Jedi assassin maybe you could do a Sith Lord assassin there's a lot of different things that you could go with this not just in comic base if you want to expand your reaches out Arrow what would Aro look like as an assassin? I've already did that myself. My friend went as Halloween as a green Aro style assassin. He still has that costume, so I might show that one day. Okay, guys, uh, the front on the, like, so you can see just here, I actually have some leather latches. And on the front, I really tried to keep it metal uh, and simple. So these little metal pieces, you can see them shining in the whole video the whole time. Those are actually gold pieces from jewelry. So this is some one pound, two pound, cheap dollar store jewelry that my friend gave me a long time ago. You can see it outstretches. This was supposed to be, I think, a belt. And I just looked at it individually. It had singly gold pieces right here. So if you stretch it apart, those pieces of gold come individually. And I did just say to myself, those are perfect. Originally, I did have this yellow design coming all the way down here at the front. I ripped those pieces off glued on these three gold pieces and they have worked ever since this is off of an old handbag so if you go to your I'm not saying your mother's but a female purse or a female handbag maybe would work really good because it has the leather straps and some really fake gold buckles you know a lot of cheap purses and a lot of cheap handbags they will have that nice leather thick straps with the buckles on top I use this from an old cheap female purse uh, that was just one strap that goes all the way around it get it doesn't really serve any purpose other than it looks really cool if I could add a quiver maybe onto it if I could add a sword holster perfect for that so this is the whole front base I was thinking of going with some black sleeves all in all but my friend says why don't you go with green it's a real Robin tradition these are the Nightwing armor pods so just some old tire guards you can get those in a cheap discount store they come for to protect your tire from getting muddy or dirty I just put some elasticated straps around there if you find something with a nice curvature to it anything that's black or has a nice curve cheap and has some nice detailing I found these to be perfect again that is cycle tire guards they stop your bike from getting dirt or mud on your back completely up to you if you want to go for that design all in all I think it has a real nice armor base I'm wearing the Nightwing gauntlet so I explained this all in my Nightwing V.2 video if you want to go watch that out but if you want to go watch that out 
If you want to go watch that, that's completely up to you. But you can just see right now I have one, two, and three pieces. Then I've built around that with some armor bases and again the fins. If you want to go for a more Damien way instead, you can add these to a green color or a green texture. I have some medical bandages. You can find these in discount stores or on cheap medical kits. That's completely up to you. They go really good for any kind of fighter base cosplay or any costume that you're going to do. Assassin's Creed again is one of them where they do have some hand wraps all around the hat. So that's the top half of the suit you can maybe design or add on anything that you want around your shielding. Like I have, I've just added some of the shiny linen going around the outer rim. I'm not finished with this, I might add on a lot of other layers to it, like the Assassin's Creed. The hood, maybe tighten it in a bit more so make it smaller like this. I was going to add in some yellow on the inside of the hood. But I just decided against it because if he was an assassin back in the day, he maybe wouldn't go so bright with his colours. We'll go to the bottom, so if I just pull this out, let you actually see it with the costume. We have the wrap, so I have one section that is grey right here. If you want to wrap some fabric, excess fabric around your waist, again go to your local fabric shop or your local art shop. Hopefully they will have some scrap fabric lying around you can buy for some cheap prices but I have some dark grey wrapping around here then some a green wrap that I've made a long time ago with some ties here this was for the prodigal sons this is the kind of design that I'm going for with it two belts that I've made from the Paltex again you can use some old purse or handbag straps that you like or some old belts in some thrift stores I made these from scratch from the Paltex maybe you can use some EVA foam, cut them into thin rectangular strips, shape them up well. But I like how this turned out. I wrapped the Paltex in grey fabric the same as this. Okay, so those are both the same colour and it gives it a nice texture and tone all in all. It's the same as the Assassin's Creed. Comes off here at the back with the buckle. You can see just the plastic buckle here. They come apart like that. Easy access for belts on and off if you want to go for any cosplay design. Easy and simple is the best option to go for. Here we have a fake sword, so a fake plastic sword that I bought in Poundland. This is a kiddies play sword, and I tried to spray paint it grey. Didn't work out the best. Added a little silver bolt here. You can buy those from, again, your art shop. It is the best place to go in and get inspired. I bought these button covers. They come big, small, tiny, really big. This one just adds a lot of detailing to it. I wrapped the handle in some green fabric. So if you buy some cheap swords, guys, in the toy section, don't be scared to go into them. Maybe add some weathering, detailing. I added some black fabric around the handle so it'll give it a better feel. All in all, some green ties up here at the top. And then we have the holster that I have also wrapped in the green and added on a black section right here so it will be sort of cushioned edge like a sword would be, the nice sheath or quiver that you would add to it. That slides into the belt right here. I always use this sword for Damian Wayne because it is essentially a green textured sword. Then we go around here to the gold. I got this in my local art shop. That is uh, actually well named. What is my local art shop? What, what do you call it? So my local art shop, uh, I, the name is escaping me right now. It's in Belfast, local town. But I got this gold chain. So this is in the jewelry section if you want to go to some cheap discount stores if you want to go to Primark here in the UK or in the US if you can find some cheap Walmart has a cheap jewelry section you can find some cheap gold jewelry and that may add to your whole motif or your whole design for a, dis a kind of League of Assassins I was going to think of having a Rachel Ghoul type design where the cape and the gold just comes around here holds on the cape and I like Rachel Ghoul but Decided against it, didn't want to do it. This adds a lot of more, I think, flair to the whole suit all in all. I have a little pouch right here that I've made from fabric. Tied some elasticated straps around the top right here. And that just clips onto the belt. This is a whole suit that I've made in, I think, three days, guys. So I really just spent a lot of time on this because I really liked and I knew what it, where it would come out. I really want to make an Assassin Creed, so an Assassin's Creed with a Damian Wayne mix onto it because Damian Wayne is essentially an Assassin. Wanted to really go with my main, see how the design process would take me, and it's taken me into some good places because 
I found out how to use these in a really, really good way. I found out that making your robe not too long is the best option. I'm maybe gonna add this shielding design to some other things. It has fully and wholeheartedly made me want to make a Power Ranger. So a Power Ranger Green Ranger suit will be on the way in the near future. And yeah, I was thinking of adding on the R. I know a lot of, a lot of people will be saying, where is the Robin R? Where is the Robin R? Where is it? So the Robin symbol will be going on somewhere. I don't know, this piece is covering it up right here, so I don't know, I'm deciding against it up or down. But yeah, this is the whole suit all in all. Oh, something's falling. So the balancing board is going to fall. And this is my Damian Wayne Assassin's Creed cosplay combination suit. I wanted to do this for a while, as you can see, and I'm very excited about it. Still not finished with it. A lot of weathering to add on to it. Still some pieces on the sides here and a lot of extra detailing going into the shielding and the arms and I can just fully move about and it's, it's not that heavy. I love how the cape sits. And yeah guys, if you have some cosplay plans or if you have two characters that you really love or two different properties, I wouldn't say be afraid to mix them in together. See where the journey takes you and hopefully you have the materials to do it. If you don't, don't be afraid to give it patience. Wait maybe a week or two let the whole journey take you through it and you will end up with an amazing suit as i say again this took me around two or three days to make all in all i was thinking about it for around a week or since the video of my all my cosplays review part two video not everything gets done in one night or two nights you really have to let the process take you to it and yeah a lot of bad decisions were made while making this and i fixed a lot of them thank you guys so much for watching I love this Damien Wayne sort of collaboration. As always, for me, everyone here at Ireland, let your geek speak. If you find any cosplays or any of the videos helpful, please let me know down below. And please subscribe and comment. It means a lot to me. Good night, guys. And I've been trying to be Damien Wayne. So that's Assassino. Try and come up with a good Damien Wayne assassin name. Okay, guys. Then God bless. What?